Welcome to the What's Your Wow series by ABS Kids. I'm your host, Shanti Waters. In this series, we discover inspirational stories about our clients and providers achieving breakthroughs and milestones known as wow moments. At ABS Kids, wow is not just a word, but part of our culture and woven into everything we do as we work to help children with autism reach their goals. To make sure you don't miss any of these impactful wow stories, please subscribe below and help us celebrate with our providers, clients, and their families. This month, we have Milena Suarez Reyes joining us. She's a Colombian psychologist with a background in legal and forensic psychology. Having recently earned her master's in ABA, Milena just became a board certified behavior analyst. A huge congratulations, Milena. This is no small feat, as we know. Uh, and notably, Milena contributed to the Global Autism Project in Kenya, showcasing her dedication to enhancing autism services worldwide. Milena, welcome to What's Your Wow? Thank you very much. And yes, it's very exciting. I am a new BCBA. That is so exciting. We are very happy to have you as a BCBA in lovely Tennessee. Um, can you tell us about your background and how you got started in the ABA field? Yes, well, as you say, I am from Colombia. I studied psychology. I worked in the legal and forensic uh, psychology area uh, with the government in Colombia, and I provided care for victims of domestic violence. So it was no related with ABA at all. When I moved here to the United States in 2020, um, I was looking to do some work in the psychology area. And then during like that research process, I found about ABA, which like, took my attention completely because um, we don't have ABA in Colombia. So I decided to learn about uh, applied behavior analysis and like my interest increased when I realized that I can also help my own country uh, knowing about this. Wow, that is incredible, incredible. And um, let's see, you are you have a lot of experience then with the Global Autism Project. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Well, so after my research, I'm working in this uh, area and in the center in Tennessee. I wanted to take my process as a therapist to the next level. So I decided to apply uh, to volunteer with the Global Autism Project, um, and that took me to Africa. So. Wow. It was a long process. I had to organize a fundraising uh, as a part of the volunteering process. Um, it was stressful and actually um, it was one part of the volunteering that I, I can say that it was very rewarding. Uh, it's no easy. I have never done that before in my life. So going out and ask people to support something that you really are passionate and love mm -hmm. about was complicated. I bet uh, and your your passion shows in everything you do, by the way. Um, I love hearing your stories. Um, can you tell us like what kind of wow moments you experienced while you were um, working with this project? Well, during our time there, a, we did a lot of things, uh, interviews, observations. We worked with the team in mm -hmm. the center of Kaisora, which is like a center that provides therapy to uh, children uh, diagnosed with autism. Um, and my whole moments were being able to work with such an amazing team, the clinical team from Kenya, the team that I travel with from U United States. I learned a lot from each of them and it's, very rewarding to see how many people love what they do, how mm -hmm. they want to help improve the lives of so many children and families. Um, I also was able to um, go to the first day of job of some like autistic young adults that were at the center. Uh -huh. um, and I think it's incredible to be able to participate. There were three young non-vocal people with autism and seeing mm -hmm. how the rest of the employees welcome them. Those people also had so many questions about how to provide better support uh, for these young people. 
so that filled my heart completely. Uh, that was one of like the best experiences that I had while I was there. Oh, that that is so neat. I, I love hearing that. Um, I think for a lot of the individuals we work with, as they get older, it's often challenging finding programs where they can go into and get the kind of support, the community support to be able to work in a job. That is so incredible. You got to experience that and in another country. Wow. Um, let's see. Uh, have you been able to use what you've learned in Kenya in your work here at ABS Kids? Well, yes, I try to do it every day. I have mm -hmm. learned so many things while I was there. I got a training in leadership, cultural humility. So mm -hmm. um, I think professionally um, about my trip, I think I apply every day more like the active listening, mm -hmm. uh, thinking about the cultural differences. Uh, uh, I try to think and be more aware of my beliefs and my own biases. Mm -hmm. um, I have been listening more in general, having open questions to families. Uh, I want to make sure I don't make assumptions. Uh, so mm -hmm. I participate in a lot of parent trainings, like translating. Um, and for me, it's very important to be able to like always like listen and see what their perspective are. That that is really incredible feedback. I think as behavior analysts, we want to we want to help improve behavior. We want to do this. We want to do that. But sometimes the best thing to do is just stop and listen, because we're going to gain so much more information and make sure you're really aligned with what that family and culture, you know, that family environment, the needs of the person you're working with, what they really need, versus making assumptions. Um, so that's that's really great um, feedback for us here. Uh, Let's see, um, with what you've seen and witnessed through this work, how important is it to celebrate these wow moments when they happen? What do you think about that? Wait, well, I I think it's really important to celebrate these wow moments when they happen because these wow moments are the result of a teamwork with our mm -hmm. clients and families. These wow moments change lives. And mm -hmm. this is why we do what we do. And that's why I love my job. Yeah. Oh. You're gonna make me cry here. <laughs> um, let's see. So you're from Colombia, have worked and gone to school in America, and did this trip to Kenya. With all that, how important is it that we understand different cultures and people in this kind of work, and how can that lead to more wow moments? Well, I think it is important not only in ABA. I have had multiple cultural shocks, even in my own country when I went back for first time a few, after a few mm -hmm. years here, uh, I had a cultural shock. Um, so I think that more than like understanding different cultures, it is, it is really important that we know about our own culture. Uh, mm -hmm. We recognize uh, that even if we are apart from a culture, we are in constant changing and growing, mm -hmm. and we are also like adapting things from where we are. So sometimes I feel that I am not completely from there anymore, but I am not from here. So it's <laughs> that like mix of emotions. Uh, but I try to recognize that I have my own biases in my own way mm -hmm. based on my experiences. Uh, so I think it's more important to like be open to listen and mm -hmm. learning from others, under understand their perspectives and work on things that will really impact their lives, not only what we can think we can help them impact their lives. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, what do you love about the WOW culture at ABS Kids and how it impacts the kids? I love the WOW culture because we can celebrate every achievement uh, because our children will be impacted by the motivation of great clinicians who will love what they do and are proud of their work. It's really important that we get to celebrate those wow moments and having that wow culture uh, because that's the end goal of what we do. Mm -hmm. Why we do what we do. Um, well, Malena, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your incredible experiences. Truly inspirational. And you capture why we do what we do every day. Um, for those of you watching, what's your wow? We'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.